Okay, let's go through attaching the screen uh, to the DDI. So I've got one done here already. I'll put it to the side and we'll do the, the next one here. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna peel the protector off the screen. And then these four screws here, we're gonna remove with a two and a half mil um, hex. And I'm using T nut or a T handle just to kind of speed things up here. So you can see we had a should have four nuts come off the bottom. Need to save those. And we'll get rid of the screws. We will not reuse those, so we're gonna put those off to the side. And then we've got the uh, package that comes with the uh, screens here, so we're gonna open that up. And then we're gonna use the four, uh, these M3 uh, super long uh, screws is what we'll attach everything back together with. But on the DDI, we've got the same four um, little nuts and bolts we got to remove so let's pull those so these nuts and bolts we will not reuse Make sure we have the screen oriented right so there's our connector so that'll be the bottom set the ddi on top and then we're going to use these longer screws here to, to reconnect the two back together and then we'll need one of the um, nuts to hold that on there so we'll just get this one started and then we'll get another one up here so this thing doesn't slide around on me I'm just holding that nut in the recessed area in the back. You can see the nuts are kind of sunk in there. So pretty easy to get, get together. So we'll do another set here. Oops, that one didn't come out. Oh, that's the one we already did. Get this other corner. Go back let's put a little bit of torque on them not a whole lot just want to keep them snug and then we're going to use these four i believe it's an m5 maybe to attach the brackets let me grab those So we've got these two brackets that need to go connect through these holes here. It looks like there's multiple holes in here to allow different mounting positions, but there's really only two of them that line up. So I don't know if there's some other mounts I'm going to run into here in a second or if I'm just not thinking this through, but... Snug them down, and there we go. We've got a DDI completed. Okay, let's get the UFC together. 
So we're going to start with these uh, brackets here. Now these go a little differently than the uh, DDIs. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, two two bolts there, the shorter of the M5s. Snug that up. And we'll do the same thing with the other bracket. Attach the HUD panel to these bottom connectors uh, holes down here. And there we go, we've got the HUD and the UFC together. Let's go ahead and get the clamp put on. Or we'll get the cable plugged in first. So we've got our SATA cable here. Get that connected in. Uh, now it looks like the clamp, we're gonna have to use a screwdriver here to uh, remove this a little plunger. Oops, sorry, that's Phillips. Take the nut off. And then we're going to go up through here. Make the nut back. Okay. It's going to be interesting getting the plunger back in. Because it doesn't have to be super tight here, just as long as it won't come off. So I'm just holding that with my thumb. Spinning this so we can't get it tight enough to hold. Back this out, see if I can't get a little bit of a bite on with the screwdriver. <laughs> Been nice if they would have thought to have put a hole here to get a screwdriver down through to hold uh, onto this thing. Let's see how this works. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so there's our desk mount. Now let's see if we can get this guy attached here. Okay, so we've got the UFC and the uh, AMPCD mounted together. I uh, wanted to show you guys kind of how that went down. It actually fought me a little. Uh, there was a lot of this size bolt uh, in the packages, and there was some longer ones here that were still taped up that in my unboxing I did not find until I tore into some of the other clamps. So that made a huge difference. I really kind of struggled getting it together until I got these longer bolts. So just know that uh, there's a bunch of these longer ones with some washers and lock washers is what you use to connect the desk mounts uh, to the brackets that screw onto the, the control pieces here. So I'm um, kind of show you how that works. So the uh, brackets up here, you're going to use the ones that are labeled Z. I'm not sure if you can really tell on that, but there's a Z2 
uh, Z2 on both of these. Those are the two holes you're gonna use. Um, and then that's just gonna mount uh, directly to the uh, mount here. So the, the recessed one's gonna go in the center hole and then the, the one that's up here on the top will go into this uh, kind of arc here and then that gives you some adjustability uh, to get this all angled together right before you uh, tighten it all down. Uh, so that was relatively straightforward once I had got the right size bolts. Uh, I've got the SATA cable hooked up between the two devices and then we've got the USB-C cable for the US, UFC up here. And I don't know if you can see but they provide a lot of these um, little cable connectors. So I went ahead and used one on that uh, that connector right there, that bolt, put a second nut on it. So it just gives you some strain relief on that cable. This little USB-C up here is probably not going to take a lot of abuse. So now if I pull on this cable down here, there's no tension uh, being pulled up here. So um, I believe the, the DDIs would be exactly the same mount. You would use these same two uh, holes there. Um, I'm probably not going to use these for the, the outer DDIs, so I'm not going to show the assembly of that. My plan, I've got my 3D printer going. I don't know if you can hear it in the background or not, but the DDIs, uh, these brackets, I think if I could line these up, connect them together, I'm going to print a spacer that will fill this slot. Then I'm going to get some really long bolts to kind of hold it all together. But the idea is going to be to get these guys mounted to the top panel, and I believe that's going to put them pretty close to the appropriate position. With the desk mount, you know, it brings them down low. It's kind of most of the pictures you've seen, I'm sure. But I need this guy up here, uh, kind of where he's supposed to be. So I'm gonna try that, see how it goes. Um, I'll add to the video if if it does work out. But uh, that's gonna be the plan, is to get these mounted to where there's just one uh, mounting position for the entire unit. So we'll see how it goes. So I also wanted here to show uh, kind of what my final product is going to be. What you're looking at here is my front panel that I 3D printed uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, it served me well. It, it's I've, I've had a blast uh, using it, flying with it. When Windwing announced their stuff, I just knew that I had to figure out a way to integrate that. And, and the main reason really is the fit and finish here on the UFC. It's just, you know, it's kind of a fairly unique design and... There's just kind of only so much you can do with a 3D printer there. So um, really wanted to kind of clean that up. So the idea is going to be to kind of keep the lower half of this panel and integrate the uh, wind wing components into it. Uh, one of the big things that um, I knew was going to happen, but I really wasn't expecting it to be this drastic. But uh, these Thrustmaster Cougar MFDs are modeled after the F-16 and they are considerably smaller than... Uh, the wind wing that are modeled after the the f-18 so that's going to be a big increase in size um here you know especially on the sides and really it's one thing i've noticed in vr was uh you know this row of buttons here was really too far to the inside so getting those out and then pushing the the master arm panel and the spin panel on the other side out um, is going to be huge so um, haven't really decided if I'm going to try to modify this one to work with the wind wing or if I'm just going to start over and design uh, new panels around the wind wing. So I uh, just want to give you kind of just a quick glimpse of, of what my setup will look like eventually. So we'll see how it goes.